Hello Libra, welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind energy can go vice versa and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. Hope you guys are doing well. Okay, dark thoughts, consciousness with cycle transformation. So someone's going through a very difficult time learning some uh, really tough lessons here. Uh, but the good news is we have transformative energy. Okay, things are about to take a different turn. Reminiscing, I miss our inside jokes with conversation. I want to call and hear your voice. Someone's definitely missing you here. Uh, wanting to connect as well as, uh, you know, speak their truth. Overall energy, five of wands. This is about struggle, conflict as well. In this card, I'm really drawn to the tug of war uh, this time. So it might have felt like a push and pull situation. All right, we have Page of Swords, Queen of Cups, and the Strength card for your energy this week. This is a great week for you where you really step into your own emotions, you assess them, you feel like you can process them, and you let them go. But you act in a very mature way, uh, taking on things that were really hurtful here when it comes to matters of the heart. And uh, things that have been wronged here when it comes to you, the universe is making right with the strength card. So it's kind of a little bit of a learning lesson because you are so kind and giving that uh, things are about to happen for you that are going to make you very happy. So that is a great thing. Seven of Wands, Two of Wands Wheel, and the Knight of Swords for their energy. Yes, they are restless and ready for uh, change in the situation. They feel like they can't stand their own emotions at this moment. It's something that's very frustrating and they feel like they've caused a lot of stress here. Uh, needing to walk away from certain things or make some decisions that they just kind of procrastinate on doing. As well as putting a wall up that they know that they need to tear down. Uh, tell with the Knight of Swords. Oops, sorry, um, Three of Cups and the King of Swords. They have the need to express their emotions. It looks like they're about to explode. They feel like uh, things need to move fast. Okay, this is a very intense energy and they're feeling as if, uh, you know, they know the answers. They know what they need to do. They just need to step out and do it. Okay, in the past we have Three of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. Nine of Wands and the Magician. So they put on this performance is what I'm seeing here. This facade. This card keeps wanting to come out. Detachment. I had to let go of the situation uh, so that I could clear my mind. So they definitely detach in the situation. But I see the mask that they were wearing. They definitely were always trying to put on this performance that they had everything going for them. They were definitely under control. Uh, and that they didn't really seek love. They didn't have to focus on it. And this made you feel like they were always coming towards you when they needed something or help. Could be financially here for some. Uh, but definitely support from you and stroking their ego a lot. But I do see that they tried to pull back when it came to matters of the heart. They weren't willing to open up or embrace this connection for what it truly is. So not really addressing the fact that you're important to them that uh, you have been uh, their rock uh, that they've depended on for quite a while. And I see that they, the facade that they put on was trying to show you that they could do this all on their own. They don't really need you. But the truth is they need you. Inside, they know deep down uh, with the Knight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, they would be devastated to lose you. But they didn't want you to see this. Uh, tell with the ma Magician. Ten of Swords, Four of Pentacles. It got to the point where it was really hard to hold back, hold back their emotions. And I see that uh, there's a circumstance here where they've detached for a long period of time for some of you. But for others of you, they've not been quite the same as they were in the past. So even though you weren't getting much from them, it feels like they just uh, all of a sudden switched. They changed. And you couldn't figure out why they were doing this. And it's because... They fell so hard, so deeply in love, and they were trying to control their emotions, but it became near impossible. 
they felt really bound to you and kept getting drawn back to you and they felt like they were spiraling out of control unsure of themselves and doubting themselves on what they need to do in the situation okay so tell us the knight of pentacles two of pentacles Four of Wands, so why? Some of them could have been dealing with a third party, so they could have been in a committed situation, or their home life was uh, had to be the main focus. But whatever the situation was, I'm seeing that for everyone, they had a tough time gaining stability. So whether this is a mindset even, they really felt like they weren't stable if they were dealing with their emotions. They felt like they were, they had to be stable in their environment or worldly things in order for them to feel safe and comfortable, right? And not really give in to love in a serious way, but you did change their mind and make them want to give in to this. And it became near impossible for them to withhold themselves uh, the more they came back around. So I see them detaching uh, for quite a while, but they suddenly switched here. So let's see the challenge. It really did feel like it was near impossible to get this person to commit or to get them to see your side of things. It really did feel like a tug of war uh, that they, every time you thought that they were going to be different or commit or things were going the right way, they would suddenly pull back and it felt like you were constantly in the struggle. Nine of Swords, the Fool, the World, and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah. So... I see that they were dealing with some hardship themselves. There are some uh, little things going on behind the scenes in their environment. But the main focus here is that how they were treating you was that you were somebody that didn't really matter. And this made you feel rejected and abandoned emotionally. But I see the Knight of Swords, it just stems from this deep-seated fear. They were unwilling to budge with themselves and how they were thinking at that time because they didn't want to feel those feelings. They didn't want to get attached is the problem, but they were already attached from the very beginning. But with the Fool and the World card, I see already this person tends to just uh, do whatever they want. They don't like to conform to things or, you know, have to do things a specific way. So it's kind of like they don't like tradition for some of them, or they just like to be free to do whatever they want. But some of them, uh, they feel like they've been stuck in something. So if it is a third party, they already feel like they're bound to something that they got stuck in. It was a consequence of something and they feel very unhappy with and they don't want to feel that again. So it's something that triggers them moving on into a relationship here where they feel extremely in love with you. They don't want to get hurt again. They don't want to get trapped. So they're correlating love with entrapment or losing control. And it's something that uh, terrifies them in the Knight of Swords. Uh, tell me the Knight of Swords. Star. Knight of Wands, they were afraid to really give you so much because they didn't have even confidence in themselves. There is a lot of doubt here whether this is just right for them, the lifestyle, or to be able to, uh, you know, be tied down. Made them want to run the other direction and detach. Chariot, King of Cups, yeah. Here I am, I'm, I'm heading out the door. Like, I'm not going to let this person know that I am deeply in love with them because that truly terrifies me. I don't know what's gonna happen with that. I don't know how to navigate through that. And it was just a lot of, uh, you know, thoughts that they were telling themselves that wasn't really a reality, that they could embrace this. And I see them just convincing themselves that it's not something that they should do. It's too risky, Eight of Cups, Page of Wands. Yeah, I, you know what I keep seeing here keeps coming up. This was uh, emotionally stressful for you. You felt bound to this connection as well because they kept drawing you back in and you felt like, you know, this connection doesn't come around very often. It was a very intense feeling and you felt like they misused this, right? They took advantage of your emotions and how much you cared about them. And you felt like it was very unfair. And I see that for a lot of you, uh, it was bringing up some issues that you've had with other relationships or uh, stems from childhood. So I see some inner wounds here that 
Uh, it made it really difficult to process what was going on and I see uh, a lot of sadness as well. It was uh, very stressful to deal with. My heart goes out to you on that. I can definitely feel your guys' emotional range just going up and down, up and down. And, you know, from one day to the next, it can go from hope to despair. And it was really difficult to go through. Okay, so Four of Cups, Hanged Man, Ace of Wands, Queen of Wands, I'm sorry, Queen of Swords, and a Page of Cups. Someone's opening up their heart. Things are about to change in a very drastic way where there is a possibility for a complete turnaround. So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take, what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, though, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.